to design a logo for this video from start to finish. Uh, never did that with the audience before, so this should be interesting. I feel like it's gonna be the equivalent of, you know, instead of like one or two creative director eyes behind my back watching me as I'm trying to pull together a deck two minutes before a presentation. Um, it's gonna be like that, but worse. So I don't know why I'm doing this, but maybe it'll be fun for me. I don't know. Maybe if I'm thinking out loud while I'm designing, um, things will go quicker. I feel like I'm just having wishful thinking at this point. All right, here we go. <laughs> This is my iPad, my baby. I love her. It's a recent purchase. Um, I would like to say she's a Rona purchase, you know? Um, she came about because I was just like, oh snap, I need to, you know, actually invest in this whole illustration thing. One of my favorite parts of having an iPad now is being able to use Procreate and being able to draw preliminary sketches for logos not along with just like illustration and everything in procreate before i would do on paper and like do the whole thing and like sketch with a pencil and everything keep it old school and then i would scan in my drawings into um illustrator basically and then vectorize those scans and then from there clean things up and whatever but now, she didn't change the game because I can just give her stuff and I can just design everything within Procreate and get it to where I like it and have a lot of like artistic freedom with it and then convert it into um, Illustrator or I can keep it in Photoshop and have it layerized. Layerized? Layered? I can have it in some layers like a she cake. No, she cake somebody that got layers. That doesn't make sense. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to do two things at once. Clearly, I'm trying to talk and design. That don't work. Okay. Okay, so now that I have the mood board and everything in there, um, I the first step I normally do, honestly, is just making these types of boxes um, so that I can figure out what colors, what my color palette is gonna be. For me, color helps me see the logo, and I know it's like really weird. Um, I did do some preliminary sketches I'm gonna be loading in. Um, I'm probably gonna not sketch out the logo idea. I don't think I nailed it um, in those sketches. So part of this process is definitely gonna be me going through and figuring out what things I wanna try in terms of the logo. I feel like because I'm not um, like background on me, I am trained as an art director and as a painter and a printmaker. I'm not trained as a graphic designer, meaning I never went to college or school or have gone through any type of design program. I've only just picked up and learned things along the way over the course of the past, I want to say like six years. And I think part of it, there's plenty of art directors who do not design and are like cool with that. But then part of me always had an interest in design. Oh, another thing I do, um, as you will see. I 
something about like just starting with this and I know that I, there has to be a way in like preferences or something to turn this off um, but I hate 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 being starting with all this clutter and stuff up there so I always delete everything um, cuz it just like uh, yeah I like starting with fresh fresh color palette so what I'm doing right now, and this is how I always cheat in the beginning. <laughs> I don't know if it's cheating. I, like I said, I'm not trying. I don't know like what the actual, like, when people go through school and programs, how they're taught to start into design a system of branding for anything. Like, um, but for me, once I have the ideas out, like once everything has been picked, and so you see this was direction three that was picked, Ironically, I mean, this always happens to me, but it was the one that I had, in my mind, honestly, the least figured out. Like, the other two directions, I probably could have made within, honestly, a few days. Um, but this direction, I, I was just going off of a feeling. It's very disparate, it's very surreal. I have no idea really how I'm gonna pull this off, which is why I thought it would make an interesting video because I really don't know where we're gonna end up at the end of this. Um, so that's why, but what I'm doing right now, sorry. What I'm doing right now is going through and making sure that, or pulling colors, wow. What I'm doing right now is going through and pulling colors from the mood board that was selected. It's interesting I keep gravitating towards blues and things. Um, and that's just like as my starting point. Obviously I'm gonna branch out and find other colors and figure out what looks best, but if this is the mood board that um, she was gravitating to, I feel like it's probably for a reason. So there's probably colors and things in there that um, are going to serve me. So I feel like this is actually a pretty nice initial pool. Um, the one color I might want to change is this one. Feels a little muddy in comparison to the other ones. What do I need? I feel like I'm missing the soft pink. Like there's a lot of ooh ooh I like that. No, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna keep that too. What to do? What to do? Um, I'm gonna keep it. Do I need that? Eh. I can always get that color back. But that other color? She cute. Okay, and I feel like. So this is where I start to go through, and I can't remember where I swatched this from, but I really feel like I could do get a better blue. Are you from here? Is that right? Oh, that was interesting. That's a little interesting. Um, I don't hate that, but I don't know if that's right. What about you? Damn it, now I don't even know where I got that really light blue color from. I really like this color. It's something I never would gravitate to normally. Um, one thing I'm doing, I'll call out, is that I'm designing an RGB only because I f this is not a printed material. This is not like a, something that will have that many printed materials. I think she actually said that she is avoiding that um oh that feels right that yellow feels right but i also still need that soft blue maybe i don't okay let's see how so the next step i normally do is take a color from another part and for me this just helps me figure out color association so like how these colors work together like, do these colors work well as a cohesive palette? Um, I've seen designers do this in a million ways. Um, but for me, for some reason, I just like the formation of... Uh, Do 
duplicate these. Duplicate. Duplicate these ones. I'll duplicate these hoes. I feel like I'm not gonna get money if I say the word hoes. But I love hoes. And I love saying the word hoes. And I love calling magical things. <laughs> This is really derailed. Um, so, let's see. You see, I'm just pulling essentially a color from the bottom to the top. Um, trying to get a sense of, I really love. This is one of the few times I feel like I might have very closely nailed the palette. I feel like these are all very close together. So that might be something worth looking at. Um, because it's like why I have... Well, I do like sometimes having things be slightly monochromatic and having things, um, that all mirror and feel good together. Like, they feel like it's... They're in the same, you know, family, color family. But other times, it's like, Why? I don't want to be wasting color palette space, you know? Yeah, like, and I'm feeling that more and more so with this color that I initially really loved, but this one came in and just was like, pow. So I might actually manipulate it to I feel better reflect the feeling of that room, which is a little bit lighter peachy. Um, lighter peachy. shit is not uniform so I'm going to go ahead and do oops oops whoops don't be making hasty decisions nah that's what that just told me um so yeah yeah so I'm looking at it and um I'm feeling like these colors are a little bit too close together like so I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. And then I'm going to change you. <sighs> yeah, it's more red than I want to be more in this this territory. Like I want to be over here flirting with the orange, you know? Like being like, mm, am I red? Am I orange? <laughs> I'm whatever I want to be. Um, so that's I think that's where I want to be. Yeah, let's let's yes see it that you see how that is, is giving me what i need to be given yes i'm really loving this palette so far and now the next thing i'm looking at is whether i always like having one darker tone and i'm wondering if this one's the right one i really like it so far but maybe if i push it to be a little bit more purple what will happen like, this is just about, again, trying shit. So, let's see. Like, honestly, y'all, this fucking never... I shouldn't say fucking like that. But this never happens to me. Like, literally, it always takes me so long to figure out what colors I like. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna shift over. Huh, that's nice. That's pretty nice, actually. Yeah. It's a subtle difference. But you see this one's a little bit more blue and navy. This is a little bit more purple, more vibrant. Less, uh, I, I think it's about the same darkness, but because it's a little bit more purple, it gives you another depth. The only thing in this palette I feel like I am now craving um, is stronger blues. Or like something in this vein. I really, really love this jean, blue jean type of feel. Um, I'm wondering if I should expand the palette. 
sometimes what I do is just make like a secondary color um, or sorry a third color um, when I'm feeling this way so let me go ahead and do that I'm going to pull from somewhere over here so that it fills where do, where do I want to pull from hmm That was pretty. Yeah. But again, I'm gonna go through and manipulate it a little bit. I'm gonna go slider and a little bit more. What does that give me? Yeah, I kind of I think I like what that adds. Let me just check something. Yeah, I think that's nice. And it adds like another another dimension to this palette. Well, that might be the quickest I've ever done a color palette. I'm like oddly so. Normally it takes me a long time to just decide what colors I want, but um, because even after, like, this is why I do the swatching thing. It actually, it gives you a starting point, like a pretty strong starting point. But even with that, I'm still very, like, I second guess myself. I sec second guess the, what colors I should be using. Um, but that feels, to me, very much so true and tied into what she wanted. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete those like, I'm keeping them as reference. I normally do. But I am going to just make them smaller so they don't get all in my way. Um, and not make them artboard so that when I export, they ain't going nowhere. They stay right in this program. Okay. Wow, I did not expect to finish this palette at the rate that I did. I'm shook. So what I'm gonna do next is actually screenshot or take a picture of my iPad of this color palette. Or actually I might just drop them into my library. Let me be all official like. Cause I could, I could see some Adobe creative person right now being like, "Girl, girl, girl, we be trying to tell you about libraries all the time." And I'm like, "Yeah, I know about them. Like, I just let me be stubborn, okay? And let me do things the hard way sometimes. <laughs> but I'm not gonna do that today. Today, I'm gonna make them proud, and I'm gonna actually use the library system. So I'm gonna do this by creating a new library. I'm gonna call it Elmi House." library create and then from there I'm going to also within this actual program um, drop in all the colors that I've been using again I know somebody somewhere is like girl there is a much faster way for you to do this that I just do not know yet I'm just gonna also make this a coloring group I think it's gonna make it easier to transfer the colors um and to which I say I'm sure like I'm sure I'm not you know fully using this to the capacity it can be at this point um in which case please tell me um in the comments there's like a quicker way to do what I just did and just completely pull out the colors um, and turn them automatically into swatches. The funny thing, I know how to do that in terms of converting colors. I know how to convert. So say if I fucked up like this, and I only know this because I've literally done this and literally have fucked up. Um, but if I fucked up and uh, designed something in RGB and needed to convert it to either CMYK or Pantone, I know how to reassign the color profile um, of the colors. Um, so I know how to do that, but 
in terms of like having something like this, like an element and automatically converting it, it into swatches, I don't know how to do that. Cool. So in Elmi House, we got these. That's cute. We got my cool tones and my warm tones. Um, tight. One thing I'm noticing is, do I need a white? I don't think I need a white. Okay, again, this is where I get into, like, I like to overthink things. <sighs> yeah. I don't think I need a white. I'm 95.9% .9 confident I do not need a white. <laughs> All right. And now we're going to get into drawing with the iPad. As you can see... Let me just check that you actually can. You can see. I began some preliminary sketches. Also made the mistake of posting a selfie to Instagram right before recording this video. So now you'll be seeing notifications pop up all over my shit. But it, that's fine. I'm going to move ahead. One thing she wanted me to try for the actual logo mark. some reason I prefer sketching in ink. I don't know why, but it's my jam. Um, it uses some, I don't want to get this right, but or wrong, sorry. <laughs> I don't want to get this right. I'm just gonna have to cut this stuff out, put it out, put it out, put it out, put it out. So some background, Elmi means knowledge in Arabic. I have to just go back to my notes. Um, and just so you have some idea of what I pitched in this direction, um, it was essentially a glowy, neon -y, current, surreal, um, dreamy, gradiented brand that has something to do with archways and doors. Um, it's called Elmi House, um, all together Elmi House Productions. And Elmi means knowledge in Arabic. So those are the things that I'm gonna have in the back of my head as I'm starting to sketch out ideas. One thing we were talking about is an archway. There's plenty of uh, archways in my storyboard. Um, you see here. So you see archway, there's an archway right here, there's an archway right here, or doorway. And just basically this idea of a negative and positive space, a positive space being on the inside, something that feels like there's light, like you're going into um, something that is lit. Lit, as the kids say, lit. Um, but one variation in the logo, there's also this element of butterflies, the transformation. I don't know if I can incorporate that. I think what I was exploring in this initial sketch was me um, figuring out how to do the LME um, breakdown in Arabic. And then like with Arabic lettering, which I should be researching if I'm doing my due diligence. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's very artful. I feel like Arabic is one of those like written probably one of the most beautifully written languages. It literally look, just looks like art to me. Um, and I wish I could read it <laughs> and interpret it and articulate it. But um, that being said, she is of this culture, so I don't feel weird about incorporating that into the actual design element in at least one of the versions of a logo. I tend to deliver two to three versions of a logo if I'm doing a logo design. Um, I aim for three, sometimes I don't get three. Sometimes I feel like I have two strong choices and I'd rather not waste my time trying to get to a third when I know I'm not gonna get there unless, you know, it hits me. Um, and so sometimes it's like, like when the deadline permits me to, I will definitely, um, you know, try to aim for a third, but most of the time, uh, not most of the time, 
and recently most of the time it's about two different versions so because my job at I do design work on the side it's not my normal day job it's something that I feel strongly about taking on um, when it comes to helping out women of color and um, interacting with like people from other marginalized communities, black ex-women um, who are starting businesses and need access to design work, but don't need to like break their brains trying to get design work. And there, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna import the video. Sorry, the photo. So now I have my colors in here. I love Procreate because it allows you to make a bunch of different palettes. So I have literally all my clients' palettes broken down in here for whatever reason. I did not mean to do that, okay. Um, but I'm gonna make, I'm gonna rename this palette as Elmi. I'm gonna go, that's my default. Go back to this view and delete this hoe. Again, I need to stop. I need to stop swearing. I'm really bad. And I'm just gonna, you know, take these pick colors with my finger. A finger. That's all I was left. A finger. Um, love Harry Potter. Kind of can't stand J.K. Rowling right now. I won't get into the whole transphobia rant in this video, even though I could right now. I think one thing white women do need to evaluate is why they are so uncomfortable with and threatened in every single generation with any other type of woman <laughs> um, trying to take up any type of space. But that is not the point of the video. Video, oh, oh, oh. Um, bah, 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 bah. Okay, so I think all the colors are loaded up in there. If I've missed one, I have it right there. Also, I like doing it this way, honestly, because it's really nice to just be able to go back and reference how I just kind of naturally made core, color co coordinations. Um, correlations, coordinations. I'm gonna delete this. This was the initial sketch. It's just cool, I'm just remembering it. And like I said, I'm doing research right now to figure out what's the right eye for an Um, I'm just gonna make this soft pink color the backdrop. And then I'm gonna make this color my sketching color. It's my favorite color in the palette. So I'm just gonna use it to sketch with. And I believe I'm gonna bring this up actually so that I can rotate it around. But then, mm -mm -mm. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, let me make this whole screen bigger. I'm not being very generous to all of you right now. Okay, I don't think that's fine. So I wanna check on, like I said, do the research right now. I am looking at the um, me letter name. Ne mm -hmm. I might just go forth with what I think looks best and kind of feels right. And then from there, if she's just like, girl, that's not, that's not my language, girl. I'm gonna be like, okay. Um, but again, this one is about using the letters in order to form some sort of butterfly-esque shape. So I'm going to, I've been really getting into having custom lettering. Like basically hand drawing. Yeah. That's 
Tristan. Not really an idea yet. what I'm doing is just I'm just honestly throwing out different ways and none have to be right right now okay damn I mean I know I'm cute but damn I'm trying to keep these on separate layers for a reason this into Photoshop, pull out that element, and then we can vectorize it, and then from there, work it out. I love doing, recently doing it this way, if I feel like I said, as opposed to starting with the font, as I've done in the past, I think it gives my clients a very unique feel versus when I've just started things in terms of vector in the past. It's getting a little crowded up here. Um, yeah, it just makes it harder to, you know, <laughs> just get more loose, I guess, and, and more honestly creative with how I'm approaching marks. So I've been doing all lowercase e's and I wonder why I'm gravitating towards that. Like, but what if I did something that kind of reflected funny thing is I naturally draw my E's like this like when I'm just writing my name like well not lowercase E's but if I'm going everything I do it like that <laughs> so I'm gonna try actually incorporating my very unique Leah E my backwards three that I always do never in the design though never done it in design so this is a first Hmm, that feels nice. It gets hard to read. I feel like I might have to give it some help. I was like that. I almost wanted to do like an overlapping thing. Like, like a uh, uh. You see, right here, where if it could go, uh, uh. So if it can go. That can go. The one thing I'm really also struggling with is how to not let this overpower this E. Um, Cause right now it would be very easy to just read these as decorative and go LMI, <laughs> Lemme. Lemme House Productions, what? No, that's not what we're going for. So I'm gonna keep that in mind when I'm drawing the next one. Y'all can go up there. Um, I'm gonna make, how do I do this? How do I do this? Um, L me. L. I. Can I make this one like a. And then for you, I think it's like a. I feel like it's getting closer to something. I don't know. 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 I don't 
don't know, I don't know. See, I'm hella hit this time. Ain't going out with no shit this time. Cut the bullshit this time. Crazy how some lips couldn't kiss me blind. No, no, no. Sorry, y'all didn't come here for my singing. Which is very bad. Be more locked in I think you see what is, it's all doing the same things for me and I feel like it needs some sort of like I feel like I need some sort of restraint or something and when I say that I mean like um why some logos are in a circle or why some logos are in like a square box or a rectangle box or whatever like I feel like this needs something like that in order to flow. Get me wrong. I'm still really liking the even the smaller of that is nice, um, but I just don't think it's right. Also, this is interesting to me. I don't know why. Maybe it's playing with heights. No. Why wow, it looks like P Pimmy. Chemist. <laughs> Y'all look me in the eye and tell me that I don't like Pemis. Pemis. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. All right. First round. I don't think anything is really hitting at it for me. Um, get you closer. Um. The most joy I felt was in Pemis down here. Um, I think this could be close. This is giving me an interesting idea about this type of shape, which is actually, I'm picturing almost like um, the shutter of a, or like the projection light from um, a projector where, you know, like it's a big burst or something and it all comes down to this. I think I did that intentionally, but I might try something the next round that's um, hinting at that. Better angle now, y'all. We done upgraded just that quick. You see how quick the movement in this channel works? You know what you should do? Subscribe because this might be my first logo video, but this show won't be my last. And the show won't be my best one. We're going to keep elevating as we go. You heard? I'm so sorry. Um, I'm playing with this idea of like a doorway at the end of Elmi. Doorway. Wow. Doorway at the end of Elmi. It's feeling like a blow, blow horn a little bit. But I was like kind of liking the idea of maybe if I reverse it, where it's like we start out over here. Maybe do some more. Um, I kind of don't love it. Um, but what if we do like a, I mean, I mean, it could work. Cause if I'm doing it like, let's see, let me think about it as an actual doorway, but actual light coming out and make it a little bit like 3D. It has some, some, some oomph to it. I'm thinking about it like that and I'm going, oh, there's air out, there's stuff out. Oh, me? Like maybe I use this space as like a... The funny thing is this space already kind of does the archway I'm trying to make. So maybe it's something... This is where the sketches get real rough as I'm really starting to think. Um, 
And I also, this is probably the most literal I'm gonna try and do this because I don't know how literal this actually needs to be. Um, but if I go, hey, you're an archway, what up, dude? Hey, archway. And then I go, no, because then I still need this. Yeah, it doesn't work. It could work, but the E kind of fills up the doorway. And then this is just like some huge, or, 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 or. This is like, it's actually kind of nice to work this out all loud. Normally it's just in my head and I kind of feel crazy on the inside, but now it just sounds crazy on the outside and at least, you know, it's a shared experience. I just stop using the word crazy so much. It's pretty ableist of me. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, do y'all know? I don't know. Do -do. But I do like... Well, here, 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 here. There are a few shapes. If I'm going to break all these shapes down in terms of arch potential, that's what we're calling it in terms of this we gotta figure out which letter has the most arch potential. <laughs> and maybe it's just too expected to start it at the beginning or the end. But hey, guess what we got right here? We got two arches, baby. Could these do something for us, Elmi? The M? No, that just did nothing. I just need to write out and me to really or, or orchestrate my point. Um, I'm just gonna clear my board for right now. I just wanna clear board. No, not that clear. Um, and then I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go, hey, imagine a world where you are thin. You're thin, so you don't take up space. You're thin, so you don't take up space. Y'all are some like Kate Mosses. I feel like only one of the things can be, mm, or most of the things should go all the way down like that. That could be. Like, I almost feel like if I do any type of what part part of what makes the archway archway is like it having some sort of depth to it. So it's like it has to like if it's doing this type of thing, some sort of perspective. Hmm. I look hella ugly right now. It's hella ugly. But if I'm going, um, me, me. <laughs> Sometimes 
sometimes I really be feeling like I forgot how to draw. I know other artists say that too. But it's like, like almost every other time I pick up anything to draw. Oh, especially when I'm painting. Oh, it takes me forever to get back into knowing how to paint. I be feeling like, damn, throw my whole degree away, you know? Hmm. No. I really want that to work. What am I missing? Hmm. I don't feel like it will work. I feel like it's too complicated. Like, I'm complicating it. Like, I'm being... Why am I going to make things so complicated? You see, you know what? Ooh, I don't like the straight. Let's go on that. E, E, L, me. Hey, don't act like that. Hmm, that kind of feels nice. It actually feels a little bit more in terms of thickness and like the character of it. You know, I'm trying to make things too cutesy, but there's something about this that gives me um, some Arabic lettering tees, which I appreciate. Um, maybe this will solve all my issues. You know, my life problems. Coming in like a thick prince. On a horse. Um, what if the whole thing kind of forms the archway? You know? And then we can stack it. Hmm, that feels... Sorry, y'all. That was loud. But when I think about stacking it, productions, now we're starting to get into some sort of, you know, we got a little bit of shape going. Cool. I'm excited by the thought of this. Okay, okay. Sometimes I'll be remembering, you know, how to do my job. Um, so let's actually get more specific with it. I'm like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. I'm so sorry. If y'all have gotten through this whole video, I have commend you. Wow. Must really love riveting YouTube commentary on things. And maybe if I could still. Okay. It has a little bit of a sauce to it, a little bit of a bounce. It feels like, I don't know, it's starting to feel like a lover. Like it looks friendly, but it also looks a little bit formidable. Like it looks a little bit unfuckwittable. Like it has a sharpness, but also a friendliness. Okay. I'm still not really evoking the doorway that I really want to evoke. I'm trying to do the shape. Maybe if I, I'm just gonna start a new board. No, I'm just gonna call it Emily Sketch Point. I'm gonna change the name of it. Um, I'm gonna delete everything but these two. Mm, I'll give you. Delete, 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 delete. Right now, where you at? Oh, cool, you already got me. Um, I'll leave you to it then. And then, you? You over here with me. And you? You over there too. Okay.
am I getting somewhere? Or am I just feeling pressured by the YouTube gaze? The world may never know. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is just draw an archway. Now my boyfriend is sending me stuff. No time for you. I am a working woman. I'm actually really curious on <laughs> what he sent. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> he will kill me if I put this in this video, but you know what? What's the chances of anybody seeing this video anyway? You know? I think it's funny and I think he's cute. I'm I've been going for like a U-shaped archway, but maybe I should be going for this more. This gives me a more Arabic feel. This like more sharp pointed U. Let me look. Let me look it up. Because I'm also probably generalizing whole ass cultures right now, but Yeah, like, um, doing some research right now, and definitely sharper point up. I think that's pretty nice and also true for Middle East. It's a little bit Moroccan, too. Hmm, I like the feel of that. Okay, because what if we do it like this? What if we have like some sort of, we go, uh, and then we go. And then we go, hey girl, we, we have it contained in this. obviously less sloppy but I don't really hate that I'm gonna just merge down that and then yeah I don't hate that at least it get, like like I said I felt like I was feeling like it needed some sort of locked in shape and maybe instead of having like um I'm gonna try not having a border because I feel like right now it's kind of written as like another letter or something. I'm just gonna try using the shapes of these things to work. Like, uh, I can't articulate what I'm about to do, but you'll see it. So it's not a big deal. Um, I feel like it'd be easier for me to just do this where I draw it. Wow, can I draw? Okay, I can sometimes, apparently. <sighs> this is the one frustrating thing because it's like obviously my hand is imperfect and now that I have a vision, it's kind of hard to articulate the vision. So maybe it, it doesn't go out like that. Maybe it goes, right now we can real PTs. Maybe it just needs to be like, wow. In. Hmm, so I'm already seeing issues. Exaggerate and lettering is something that I don't think of. Hmm. 
interested there's definitely a start here and maybe i'm going to do part two of this video i think i was a little ambitious to think that i can do it all in one day in one sitting i never can so i don't know why i thought while recording i'll be able to do it but i think i have a bunch of good starts um I think I might film more exploration with color and gradients um, for this video. I'm gonna take a pause from sketching. All right, so for our last step of part one of this video, um, I'm going to take the color palette that I made Look at her, she's so cute. And I'm going to make, part of this was like having gradients and um, radials and glowiness and just nice, pleasant. <laughs> wow, I don't know, I sound like I'm talking to like a bunch of kids or something. Um, but part of this was to has some gradients. I'm gonna try a few different approaches with this one. I think I'm getting custom gradient vibe, but I could be wrong, you know? So I'm gonna go in, do a custom gradient. Yes. Come on. I want you to be like Yeah, these colors work so well together. It makes me really happy. Yes. Yes. More of that. Thank you. Come on. Try doing this one as a linear gradient. Hey girl. doing a thing for me. Maybe we're doing like some sort of mix. intentional thing sometimes. I'm like, oh yeah, that works. Cool. <laughs> totally. Did not even mean to do that, but since you're here,
cute little happy accidents. All right now, sugar. All right, so let's just. Play with what's happening. Oh, I love how soft this is. So I'm, I might, um, you know, switch up the flow of these gradients. So I have to go top to down. No. Why am I blanking on how to manipulate these? Oh, so here we go. It's like I can see this world too. Yeah, I'm really feeling these like, simple, soft types of gradients right now. Ooh, yes, this is giving me something. It's so simple. <laughs> Some might sound crazy to people right now. It's like, girl, it's just a... But I've been doing like a lot of crazy gradient work. Um, like complex, more gradients like that. Specifically, if you go and look at the work for the coven. Um, and so it's kind of nice to come back to this type of gradient. Where it's just like, no. It's, I'm actually not trying to do all of that. Or do too much. Um, but I do want to flip you. something to me um might be way too simple but let me go ahead and just add these two as another I believe you Ooh. hello gradients into my swatches. Hmm. I'm going to pull in a few references that I feel like can help me think about how I want to move them forward, draw these archways. If you want to see where this logo ends up and where the general branding is, ends up, um, subscribe and a part two should be coming really, really soon. Um, but yeah, I'm Leah. If you watch this whole thing, I commend you. You now know that I am, you know, I'm a little wild, but you know, I make beautiful things. <laughs> I believe that I make beautiful things. Um, so if you want to see me making these type of videos moving forward, just let me know in the comments below and subscribe and I'll continue making this type of content. Um, but until then, thank you. Go out and make some noise. I don't know. I just tried to come up with some sort of end thing. That does not work. Goodbye, y'all.